Hey everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. So yesterday, if you heard me, I said today we are going to test out some more of these mica powders. So I received this order of 60 mica powders. These are from Let's Resin and I've never used their mica powders before. So I'm trying to test them out. Obviously, I'm not going to do 60 projects in one day, but these were a good opportunity. These are also from them. This are These are actually candle molds. But I'm using them for resin because they seem to be shiny, most of it. Not sure about the sides, but we're going to find out. They may not be, but they look kind of shiny. We can always shine them up with UV resin if we have to. So we're going to pour some roses, and I'm going to test six colors. And one is cyan, which is a really pretty bluish color. One is purple, which it looks kind of like a light purple. This pink one is called Red Violet, so I picked it because it looked pink, not because it looked like Red Violet. This one I definitely want to try, the red, because I have a lot of trouble with the reds, like Christmas red, and a lot of reds don't come out red, so I'm interested to see if this red is going to be true. And this is called Pearl Gold, and this one is Sea Green. So I think they're all very pretty springy. The other thing I want to do today, I mentioned a glass garden. I met this guy yesterday and he gave me two pieces of the glass that he fires and makes jewelry out of and he wondered what it looked like in resin. So since I'm pouring resin, I'm going to put him in this little tiny turtle shell to see if it's going to like illuminate the colors in this uh, piece of glass. But before I do that, I wanted like a layer of resin in there because I'm going to pour him mostly clear, I think, and possibly back him. I'm going to make this tiny little thing I may do in three layers. Right now, before I forget what I'm going to do, I want a layer of resin in there. I don't want to wait for it to cure. Of course, there's something in there. So I'm going to pour a tiny bit of UV resin in his back and cure it and lay the glass on top of that. This is almost empty, but it's enough to do this. I just don't want the piece of glass to be directly on the plastic mold itself. So I'm going to get a lighter and pop those little bubbles and get this cured, and then I'll mix up some resin and be, and be ready to start. All right, I've got it all mixed up. Now I did pre-measure these yesterday, and the largest one holds three ounces. The two next to that size hold two and a half, and these three hold one and a half ounces. So I have pre-measured all these cups already. Opened all my micas. I spilled my purple one. See that right here? That's where I spilled it. So there's not as much in that one anymore. I tried to salvage as much as I could. So now I didn't put it through the vacuum chamber or anything because, you know, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna put mica powder in it. Do have some like 99% alcohol. I'm going to spray that because of all those little petal things. They tend to hold bubbles and I won't be able to see them with the mica powder. So I'm going to do the biggest one in red because I'm most interested in the red of all colors to see if it's actually red red. So let me just cap these so I don't spill them again. And... I'm excited to see what these colors actually are. A lot of times you buy mica powders and they change in the resin. So that's pretty much what this experiment is. I have to figure out a place to store all these. I already have a ton, but I've never tried their brand, which is shocking. I use their stuff for everything. It looks red. It hasn't really changed much. There's the color. So that's a good sign. I don't see that it'll change much more drying, but we're going to find out. I should say curing. Just make sure you mix it really well. I have a tendency to leave some powders behind, and I don't like that. Because they did drop. They'll drop to the bottom, and you'll see them. If they were to float to the back, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but unfortunately, they sink. I've already UV resined and cured that little turtle, so I do have some leftover clear, so I'll do him last. Let me grab my 
alcohol and give it a good squirt. I'm just going to kind of pour slowly. I guess you don't have to fill these all the way up. Again, I'm not making candles. I'm making resin. So some of you guys are going to get some paperweights with your packages soon. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I'm sure you can use them on something. Okay, that didn't completely fill it, so I must have mismeasured this paper cup that I put it into, but it's pretty close. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, the only thing it's going to change is my trimming at the end when I demold them. Because really, if you're going to use candle molds for resin, and they're this big, it doesn't really make a difference how much you pour in there because you don't need a big block of resin either. But if it's pretty, I'm just going to kind of poke my stick down in there. I'm pretty sure that the alcohol will do the trick because that's the trick that I use for my little tiny roses that I've been making with my extras. And that mold is way more detailed than these and the alcohol spritz stops any bubbles from happening on that. Let's do the pink one next. Again, this is called Red Violet, in case you like these colors and you want to give them a try. I will keep them out too, so when we demold them, we can kind of compare the color to the cured piece as well. Maybe this has, it's got a little purple tint to it when it's mixed up, I guess but it's more on the pinker side. This one's really pearly, much more pearly than the red one. This one's really pretty in person. Oh, my alcohol. Oh, of course, let me get the bottle up. Come on, don't die on me now. I know I have another bottle. Let me go find it. Of course I can't find it, but I got this one to work, so I'm just gonna give it a nice spray. Make sure I pick up another spray bottle at Walmart next time I'm there. I use that thing every day. So it has been squirted thousands of times. Watch, I'll probably have too much of this one. Yeah, a little too much. I'll dome it. Not too bad. All right, so I have enough to make a little pendant or something. I'll do that later. Let's mix up the purple. And see what that's gonna look like. It's pretty. They do have other sizes of uh, mica powder sets. You don't have to get the biggest one. I just got the biggest one because I'm like, you know what? Eventually I'm gonna want the other one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get the largest one that they offer because what's the point on waiting? So that's what I did. But they do have smaller sets and these are very reasonably priced actually. Plus, there is a discount code in my description box, so use that. That is really pearly too. That's really pretty. Spray that one up. Did you guys hear my dog scratching at my door? He wants to come in. <laughs> He'll just have to wait. I already gave him the opportunity and he walked away. Okay, I'm using every drop in that one. Gorgeousness. Maybe we'll have a spring bouquet of roses when I'm done today. All right, 
I don't need another stick. I just keep wiping mine off. No sense in making six of them dirty. Which one do we do? Which one do we do? This one's got pink powder in it. Whoops, I missed something. There we go. I'm going to say this blue one, cyan. Not that I've ever seen a blue rose. Unless they've dyed it at the florist. I'm sure that they dye flowers. Or I think, don't they like let them drink colored water? And that colors their petals as well? I think so. I don't know. I'm never a florist. Wasn't never a florist. This one's got two tones of blue in it. That is so pretty. Do you see that? I think you can, especially as I mix it. It's got like a green and a blue in it. Oh, I love this one. What I need to do is like make tiny little drips of each one and glue it to the top of my little bottles. That would be a good idea. Of course, I'll probably never do it, but it's a good idea. All right, let's spray this one. Whoops. Spray and pour, spray and pour. Perfect. I was going to put dried flowers in these actually. And at the last second, what I was going to do was put dry flowers in them and then back them in these colors. So I was going to use the clear resin, dried flowers, let them cure, and then back them in these colors. But then I realized I would have to do a couple layers because the dried flowers will float. And because of all the texture on the front of these, you wouldn't even see those dried flowers. So I didn't want to waste them. So I put them all away. I'll do that in something else. Which one next, guys? Um, let's do the greenish one. This one is called Sea Green. Let's see if it's two toned as well. I don't think it will be, but you just don't know. Sea Green. I hope it's not too close to the last one. I try to get a little variety of each color. Oh, this one darkened. This one darkened in here. See that? But it's a pretty green. I don't know if I'd call it sea green. Maybe emerald. Maybe not. I don't know. It's a pretty green. It's very pearly. I like it. Wasn't expecting that, but it's a happy happy little thing that happened try to get this out spray it up and pour it in I don't know that this one's a rose this might be like a carnation or something I like getting carnations more than roses although roses are prettier but carnations man they live a long time a lot longer than roses do in a vase so you get to enjoy them much longer. All right, that is that one. And all that's left is the pearl gold. That's really, really like sparkly in the bottle. It's probably all I need. These metallic ones or gold ones, man, they can go a long way. See how this one works. It's really, really sparkly in person. Really sparkly. You know that white mica powder that I love so much from Unicone? This is kind of like that in gold. This might be my new favorite gold. That's really pretty. Okay, squirt and pour, guys. Squirt and pour. Then we'll do the turtle. I can't wait to see this one unmolded. Look at that. 
perfect measurements except the one. No waste at all. Okay, so for this, let me just, not that the backs matter. I don't know why I always do that. I've got my little turtle here. I'm going to see, I don't know, you probably can't see the UV resin right there. I'm going to put this in upside down. Just kind of leave him right here. I'm just going to pour in enough. I didn't debubble this. I should, but um, let me wipe this stick off. I got something in that clear resin I don't want in him. Little piece of pink. There we go. I'm just going to pour him. Um up to his shell. I'm gonna leave his feet, I think. I wanna make sure that the resin gets underneath this thing though. It probably will, it's liquid, it'll find its way, but what I'm gonna do, kinda lift it up and set it back down, hopefully to avoid any bubbles. Just want a tiny bit more in there. Hopefully that piece of glass will stay centered while it cures. And then later I'll mix up like a half ounce. And I chose this color to go with that. This color is in that piece of glass. It's called sky blue. So we're gonna put that on the back of him so it'll do his feet. And I'm not sure if his head is full or not. I do need to poke a little stick in his tail. His tail is always a problem, this mold. I don't even know if there's anything in there yet. Maybe not. Remind me to do that later. Okay, it's time to cure, you guys. I've got some extras here. I'm going to pour it into something. I don't know how much I have. Maybe I have enough for a brother for Sandy or something. Let me see what I could do. I don't know if I have enough for, I'm going to try, but instead of using this on just something random, I'm going to get a stick. I'm gonna pour the rest of this into here. And I picked another color to test out and it's called purple blue. And I chose it because I'm wondering if it's a two-tone color. Let me just get all this resin out because I think I'm going to need every drop to fill it up. Although Sandy has a lot of siblings. They're just scattered around the house. Most of them are at my computer. But I couldn't fit any more mascots at the computer. That's why Sandy is always with me. All right, let's see. I don't know. I don't think it's enough for it, but we're going to try. I can always finish pouring another day. And that's going to be affected, obviously, by this color because there's some pink in there already. But yeah, just dropping it in there, you could see tints of blue and purple. Ooh, that is going to be so pretty. Almost like a chameleon mica powder. <clears throat> Oh, I hope there's enough. I might just have to mix up just enough to fill her up. I don't want to uh, not have her poured properly. Get that hair out of here. Let me do her antlers. They're so small, it's so hard to drizzle in. little more and a little more <laughs> that's good 
I'm going to give her a squirt. A squirt and a pour. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Oh, will I? No. I need to mix up like a half an ounce, which I'm going to do because I want to make this. Come on. Oh well, all right, I'll do that off camera. I'm going to turn my heat mat on, help me get this cured, and then it's time to demold. It's my favorite time, it's unmolding time. What do we start with, that's the question. I'm going to start with the turtle because I am anxious to see what that little um, piece of glass did in here. And it is cold, so I should not be busting his head off like I usually do. And look, his tail worked because I remembered. I did obviously fill it without you because you guys know how to fill them. So I think this is the first time I'm unmolding him that he's not warm, so I'm not gonna be ripping any heads off today. It's amazing what happens when it's not warm. Okay, here it is. Well, you can see it. I wish it was a little bigger, but I only, you know, I work with what I have. Um, it's pretty, but like I said, if it was bigger, it'd be perfect. But it's not that bad, actually. What do you guys think about it? Uh, maybe I'll color his little eyes in, but here nor there. I think what's going on is his little pieces for his shell are interfering with it, but it's pretty. It's pretty, pretty cute. Maybe I'll keep him with all my mascots. I'm gonna have to get you guys a picture of my computer area. There's all kinds of stuff over there. All right, let's do Sandy's sister. Oh, those are pretty. That's a nice color. And I was looking on these mica powders and some of them say color shift powder. I just realized that. So I think if there's two colors on the bottle, it's a color shift. See like this one just says mica powder red. And that one was color shift. Sea green is just mica powder. Yeah, let me see if I could find another one that's color shift. Okay, this purple one says color shift. Remember I said there was blue in it? So you get a mixture of regular micas and color shifting powders in this box of 60. So that was a nice surprise. I'm just going to spray some alcohol down in this one because it gets kind of tight to get this one out. Now we need a name for Sandy's sister. So let's all think of a name. Oops, now it's wet and slippery. Come on, get your head out of there. Let's see what we got. I gotta glue her antlers on. I just love this mold. It's one of my favorites. Can you tell I use it all the time? All right, let me get the antlers in here. Oops, well they're not gonna stay without the glue. So, this is beautiful. Look at the color. You can kind of see in the camera the blue and the purple. So I'm gonna take a quick break, color her in, get her antlers on so you could see the final girl. Da 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 da! Meet Violet. Isn't she adorable? I put little eyelashes on the side of her eyes too so we could differentiate. You think that's a good name for her? I do. If you think of a better one, let me know. So we're going to just put Violet over here by Sandy. And let's get to unmolding these. Hopefully they come out shiny and I don't have to do anything to them. Let's get them all out first. Let's keep the suspense up. 
I know you guys just love the suspense. They come out pretty easy, actually, with all those petals. Not even struggling. Let's just hope there's no bubbles in those petals. These would make cute candles if you were a candle maker. And I think they are shiny. This side of this one's pretty shiny. So if you've been putting off that order in my eBay store for glitter or molds or inlays, and you want one of these, you might want to order now. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. No pressure ever from me. One more, and then we will flip them. These are some pretty heavy-duty molds. I mean, they don't come out hard. They're just very thick. Okay, shall we start with the red? Oh, good. So it is shiny. Look at that. No bubbles, you guys. That spray bottle worked. There's one. There's two. Again, no bubbles. Now this pearly, it's shiny, but the pearl kind of takes some of that shine, but it's pretty. I think I'm going to do something around the edges. Beautiful. Let's see. Let's see what these colors were. This one was the purple. True to color. This one was the red violet. Same as in the bottle. And the red, that's right, the red. It is red. I finally have a good red, you guys. This is a Christmassy red, Valentine's Day red. It's perfect. I know people have asked me in the past, which red do I use? Okay, this is that sparkly gold color. What is it called? Pearl gold. Pretty much the same color in the bottle. This one... Oh, that's pretty. Sea green. Now, this is the only one that changed a little bit. This one went darker. I think I'll do something to the center there and the edges. And the last one is cyan. Oh, that is pretty. You can see the darker blue in there in person. Is that a piece of glitter in there? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Let me get some pens out. And I think I'm going to jazz these up a little bit. I'll surprise you. Well, that took some time. Did you enjoy the process in like one minute? Because for me, it was like 20 minutes. So I did pink and purple. I think it came out pretty. I don't know how long this stuff will last on here. This is new to me, um, this, this type of pen. So it'll probably rub off, rub off, but you can get it off with alcohol if you don't want it on there. Purple and pink, silver and red. Gold and silver, green and gold. That one's really pretty. I really like this one. And this one's pretty too. So I put blue on the green. So I hope you like them and I hope you like Violet or whatever her new name will be. 
The turtle? I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't think under the shell was a great option. Also, there's a few bubbles in that UV resin I'm not happy about, but we now know you can put the glass inside the turtle or inside any resin and still see the color. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I took up 20 minutes of your time. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.